The energy started to spurt up a little bit. I'm feeling good. Ooh, baby, baby. You guys, all right, as you know, there is some beef, a little bit of beef in the fun size team. It's actually pretty intense. The beef, it the is. beef itself is pretty intense. We're gonna try to settle it a little bit. It's still not gonna be settled after this. I know it's not. There's no way it's this gonna be settled. A, this is a lifetime. We're both primitive animals. We both wanna win. We both got that competition, compete, dialed in, eye of the tiger kind of stuff. So now we're gonna play a match, nine holes out here at Purcell Farms. And this place is literally, I mean, I'm just gonna show you a quick little thing here, right? This is kind of what we're looking at. This is hole one here. And this place is absolutely beautiful. And actually, we have the luxury of playing that part three. We do. That, that's I, gonna I be a deciding hole. Nine oh. For that hole, that's gonna be coming up. <sighs> but this has been something that you guys have been asking for for a long time now. As, yeah. as we've kind of like, you know, you've seen me and Matt get to know each other and we've, we've never actually played each other straight up on camera. And so today, we kind of discussed a little bit about how it was gonna go. I think there's probably gonna be a lot less talking in this video because when we get into competition, when we get focused, we both kind of tend to like retract a little bit so I think that probably you're gonna see a little less talking we're still gonna explain the course we're still gonna explain a few things because we, we want you guys to be able to see this beautiful place we're gonna play match play just because it's gonna be a lot more competitive right if he goes two up and there's like four holes to play like I gotta get dialed in if it's the other way he's gonna get dialed in so it's gonna make us want to play a little better but like he said not very much talking so just be aware of that don't get mad at us we're trying to play super super good golf for you guys in the sense that we want to show you how competitive we actually get on the course and i think this is literally going to do it this will be the nicest you see us today yeah I mean, this is the most go. talking you'll see out of today as well hopefully you guys are ready pretty hot acidic action and we're going to jump right on here hole number one i think we should flip the tee to see your tees off first. i 100 percent agree two tees off first yeah all right and me it will, be Matt. it will be me i've got my ball teed up over there this is a par five it's 553 yards pretty wide open so we're just going to get right into this martin the guy who's out here kind of showing us around he's kind of our host Said there's about 74 bunkers on this course, I think is what he said. We've got some bunker trouble. Needless to say, this is no sunflower. <laughs> Headed toward we'll the bunker. Draw today, folks. And that's gonna be right in the bunker, right where I need to be. And that creeped over the bunker. So he's not gonna be in the bunker. Cool. The nerves. The nerves, yeah, you guys, this is, this is a nervous tee shot for me. And I don't really hit it left, as you guys know, so. Things are gonna get, just, things are gonna get, just, shut, shut, shut up, up, shut up. up. Things are gonna get dialed in and we're getting involved. He's got his driver out as well. Man, I'm nervous behind the camera, bro. Look at my hands. Uh-huh. That was a huge drive. Here we go. All right, guys, so we've made it to Matt's ball. He has about 275 yards left to the pin. He did get kind of lucky and stay out of this bunker. He has a really good lie. It's kind of sitting up. I would assume that he's pretty much going for this. He's hitting a two iron. I'm starting to look like Garrett. <laughs> I've been hanging around Garrett way too much. And as you can see, my draw is starting to come back into play. And this is something that we're going to need to figure out immediately. All right, so Tiki has landed in actually a very beautiful position here. He said he had a little mud on his ball, which I don't think is going to affect it. What's the distance? 224. 224. And he has a potential to get this on the green, but we're going to have to see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is what you want to see, folks. We're both in the trees. How does that make you feel right there, folks? I'm feeling good right now, right? The energy started to spurt up a little bit. I'm feeling good. Ooh, baby, baby. Hi, right, guys. So after some pretty poor second shots from us both, pretty not happy with how I hit that out of the fairway. Usually getting this one dialed in. Not very good there, guys. Not very good. He's a really tough position, you guys. That bunker right there. This is a tough shot, you guys. I think he's just hoping to get this on the green. Oh my, that could be so good. All right, all right, I'm starting to get pissed. We made it up to the green. I am very happy with this shot. I have about 18 feet left for my birdie. Matt now chipping for birdie. Things are already beginning to heat up a little bit here. The, the adrenaline is pumping. We this is, this is gonna be good. So he's chipping for birdie. Nope. No. I got a birdie putt. 
Matt has about a six or six or eight foot par putt. I'm gonna go ahead and read my putts. Tig's gonna hopefully make his not. Mmm. <laughs> Greens. All right, Tig to seal it out. All right, yeah, I figured that'd go in. Frick, all right, he's up. As you probably heard, Matt, um, <clears throat> things are heating up. I'm one up on hole two. All right, guys, we made it to hole two out here at Purcell Farms on the front nine. This is a straightaway par four. I think it's about 390 yards. I'm going to be taking driver. It's pretty wide open. Tig now, one up. And that is really good. I'm down the left side. Mine was a little more left ah! than I wanted it. Matt just hit a really good tee shot. It's gonna be a long ways. All right, so Tig has landed here. He has 106 yards to this pin. Pin looks like it's in a pretty good position here. I think he can just pretty much full on attack this shot here. A little short, he's got a pop for birdie though. All right guys, so Matt's ball is up the right side and I am gonna give him relief from this because I'm pretty sure it would be casual water. So he's gonna be taking relief from that. So he's basically just gonna go nearest point of relief, not to get too extremely technical. 97 yards to the pin straight away. My ball landed right here. Probably got about five feet. Again, we're not quite sure about the greens and how they're rolling quite yet after one hole, but he does have a birdie putt and I'm gonna set this up again. You guys can watch his head here. All right, Tig now. A little long there, folks. Matt has this putt um, to win the hole. All square right now. I am trying my best to play a little better golf and I think I'm doing pretty decently. Just gotta get dialed in some of the wedge shots, you know, like that one right there. That's that's what my wedge shots need to be. Nice, focused, controlled, knowing exactly where I need to hit it, how I need to hit it, and playing some good golf. We can figure this out. We are all square coming up on hole three. It's called Baby Rattler, and that is because it's actually a reachable par four here. 330. There's a bunker right in front of the green there. Matt looked like he's just going with a hybrid, so he's just gonna see if he can strike this one up the middle and get himself a wedge in. Aim at that big bunker on the right side and turn it in a little bit so I have a shot in the green. I never saw it. Where'd he go? Right towards the pin. Oh, so that's definitely short. Okay, good. Take going driver here. He's going to do a little bit more of an aggressive line. Left looks pretty open over there, but right is not looking clean. So if it hits one of his fade slices, which I know is in the bag, this could become a difficult hole. Ooh. Ooh. That bounced right. It's in the bunker now. So here we go. Time to come back here. Time to make a time to do a thingy. Alright, so Matt with a pretty saucy little hybrid up here, just about 45, maybe 50 yards short of the green. Pretty testy shot up over here that he did say he had some green to work with. We're gonna see what kind of touch he has here. Okay, we as we can't see, we cannot see where that is. If it hit on that downslope, I don't know that that will be okay. Frick. And Tig has landed in the sand like I figured. He just hit that hill right there and it, and it trickled on in. So he now has a touch shot that is going to be very very tricky. Oh no. And that one he thinned through the bunker and it is now way over the bunker. We're seeing a little frustration here, folks. He is not happy with that play. Now he's got to get up and down for a par, hopefully. This is when it gets involved. This is where he's lucky it's smash play, not stroke play kind of thing. And this is actually an even harder shot than what he just had, surprisingly. You wouldn't believe it, but no green to work with, and it's downhill on the top hill. It's just over me. All right, and he has got a par putt. Really bad bunker shot. I just wanted to give myself a putt at par. Matt has a birdie putt to win the hole and go to one up. We're gonna see right now if he can roll this in. And that, folks, is a terrible, terrible putt. Your hole, oh, man, this is when it gets involved. This is when the energy starts picking back up a little bit. Some yelling's gonna start occurring. 
This is a downhill slider. This is not an easy pop for Tick. Here's Tick for his par. All right, he's got that tap in bogey there, folks. He has it straight up the hill about four feet left. Oh my God. Okay. See, this, this, this right is, here, this, this is, is why good. you don't give up. He has about the same distance downhill for bogey, and this is now to tie the hole. You got lucky. You got very lucky on this hole, Tig. I heard a lot of chatter in my backswing. We'll talk about it off camera. That's got to hurt him a little bit, knowing that all he had to do was two putt for a win. So we made it to the fourth hole. It's actually like 360 to the creek. It's like 350 to the end of the fairway. Just another straightaway. Beautiful hole here. Couple bunkers left and right. I'm going to be taking driver off this tee. That bunker on the left is in play. It's a low zipper and that was not so he's getting mad butter because he thinks i didn't plan to do that that was the plan the whole entire time and now we're in the fairway and we are on the left side which is exactly where i wanted to be bradley let's get a rose counter put some fiery stuff on it like you did for the cold counter when they said cold let's do a little rose counter let's we'll see how many we can get going all right the head of lettuce on his head ready to hit the ball trees are in play uh-oh trees are in play uh-oh Folks, that's what we're talking about, right? When you have something mental in somebody's mind and they listen to it on accident, it just it becomes apparent to them. It's gonna be tough play. <laughs> All right, so we made it to Matt's ball. Um, ended up in a pretty decent location. 161. 161 yards, probably gonna be hitting an eight iron? Yep. Into the wind. You can go back and get your nine iron. I don't want you complaining. Things are heating up here. His palms are sweating. He needs a rain glove probably, especially for that right hand. I tell you, hopefully he doesn't throw this club. This is actually looking really good. And that is a mile long. That's you! See? You said 170! Frick you, man! This right Frick here. You. We were in the cart and it was 170 yards. And I said, it's probably about 170. He grabs a seven and an eight. We got there and it's 160 yards. And I said, Matt, go back to. Y'all heard me. Y'all heard me. I said, go back and get your nine iron because otherwise you're going to be blaming that on me. No, all right. You can't. No. Yeah. No, you shut up. You need to apologize. Shut up. I don't need to apologize. I'm fine. We, we, we got people that are coming up. We don't have time to go back and get clubs. People, what? I, there's a bunch of people coming. Turn the camera on. Right, yeah. Turn, I, what? turn, turn the camera hey. on. <laughs> it was my mistake. It's my mistake. Shut up. Show went back, got a different club. He tried to tell me it was into the wind. That's another thing that pissed me off. It was not into the wind. It was with the wind. That might have even been a pitching wedge, folks. Full swing, and instead I had to try to hit some eight iron. Luckily, I stayed on the green. Here's the only good news I have. He has to hit kind of a punch shot. He came to hit a full swing because trees are in his way. This is good. Twigs are in his way. And there's a big old slope up there. And you're short. This is going to be tough. And that is going to be quite long, I think. What? I guarantee you heard this man in the camera go, That is good. Did you hear yeah. me say anything? Was, I'm more like, was, if you could hook it anymore, you could hang something on it. Right there, you can't hit a better shot. No, you could. You know why? Because you should be about six feet. You know what? You're going to be about 96 feet. You don't feet. know what I am. As we were making it our way up to the green, Matt's ball, obviously. I could go to lunch, come back before he gets this putt to the hole it's so far from it might even you know build something in there you could build a mcdonald's in there whatever you want he likes that fast food so matt gonna leave the pin in and just give this one a run pretty good line but he's still got some work left This is exactly what I'm talking about. It's one of those things where he runs his mouth quite a bit. That's where his ball actually landed, and he's got himself an uphill putt. He actually might be out, folks. We did take a measurement to see who goes first here, and Matt is out. Mine got away from me. 10, 12 feet left here for his par. <laughs> Gives me an opportunity to win the hole. He's just going to tap that in for his... Another three putt, oh, yeah. back to back three putts, you guys. That's what's gonna lose the match is definitely putting because again, we have not putt today. As clearly demonstrated, he's going way by, I'm leaving it way short. Hope you guys liked the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, you need to because the intensity is absolutely insane. To go one up in the match. No, sir. And also ain't no gimme bogey either. Here we go. <laughs> Here's the difference, right? 
He plays Garrett, right? And obviously the stakes are a little high, but he's also got that cushion, right? Because he's got a lot of wins on Garrett. He ain't got no wins on me. And we won't even talk about the off-camera stuff that's happened. It, this is intense. It's still tied. He had a great chance to come and get a grip that way, but he did not take it. And we're coming to a par three now, and I think something's going to happen here. All right, guys, so we made it to the fifth hole. After four holes, this match has been pretty interesting so far. The putting has been not good. We'll just say that. We made it to hole five, and this is the hole that everybody's talking about. Look at this right here. Down the hill, par three. It's playing 123 yards. Matt, what are you going with? I got my gap wedge. Matt's got his gap wedge. I'm standing up above him, and I'm going to be tracing this ball all the way to the green. Please, cut. Please, for the love of God, cut. Oh, so Guys, and as we just saw, that ball is a little bit short. He's going to be working for that one. This is not okay for me. That was just, that was my worst shot today. We literally played a game out here where I hit the green like 10,000 times, right? I was dialed in. I was, I was eight feet with driver. Shut up. Shut up, Tig. You're doing a lot of talking right now, not a lot of swinging. Let's go. Okay, he's short, and he actually hit pitching wedge. He went clubbed up, and he was still scared to hit it. It's a very good thing to see right now, folks. I'm feeling good. Your ball's not even in play. He went shot oh, that I wanted to hit. Ooh, no. ooh, can I get it there? Ooh. No. You need to get a three putt. All right. We're making our way over as I'm following Matt into the trees here to see if we can even find his ball. Okay, so we have found it. Let's get a real close look at this. What are you going to do here? I'm just going to get involved. But guys, Purcell Farms is just unbelievable. Yeah. We're gonna take a little minute here and really enjoy Purcell Farms. They've been really nice to us since we've been out here already and the course is in absolute fantastic condition. And uh, and it's an honor to be playing out here. And I'm excited that we're actually playing decent golf. Could be a lot better, but it really we're is. all square right now. Matt, just trying to hit a little bump and run here and get it close. We're playing that par three. We do, that. that's gonna I mean, be a deciding hole. So he has a par putt. There's no need to try to risk it, you know. All right, Tig now. A little behind the pin here. See if you can't try to roll this close. And it gets away from him, folks. This is a tricky green. This is probably one of the hardest greens on the course, too. That's just... I just can't get the speed. Matt straight up the hill for his par. Another great line. Another great line. I got to put the win the hole. Matt to tie the hole. All right, guys, so hole six out here at Purcell Farms. Um, it is a par five. It's relatively short. It's like 480 yards. I'm going to be hitting driver. Matt is also hitting driver. Probably just trying to rip his little baby hook right up the left side, right over this bump. <laughs> Okay, and I think I kind of lost that in the frame, but it started out right at that right bunker and it with a little draw, so it's actually gonna be really good. Oh, man, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting I'm getting up there. This is getting fun. He's feeling the same way. He's starting to get a little a little chappy. And he just absolutely ripped that. That bunker was 342, but I wouldn't be surprised if I'm in it. Yeah, same. Trust me. Trust. Huge, huge man. Huge, huge, right? China, it's probably one of those things that... <laughs> All right, enough of that. We hit our drives on the sixth hole, and as per usual, I'm a little bit longer, a little bit stronger. Matt will be going first because he's, a, he's you know, behind me. We'll just say that. He has 170 yards to the pin. Pin is kind of tucked over to the right behind that bunker. We're going to see how aggressive he gets with this. I don't want to hear anything from you the rest of the night. That was one of my best shots I've hit in a very long time. That's a career shot. Alright, give me the camera. You're done talking. I don't want to hear nothing from you. Here's where we're at right now. We're tied. Par 5. We've got an eagle opportunity. Here's what I'm looking at. 170 yards. Pin is tucked in with the bunker. What am I thinking in my head? Ideally, I want to be on the green so I have a chance. I'm also thinking, why don't we get a little bit aggressive and dial in just a tad bit? But I held it out a little bit as you guys held out the finish. I don't know. I'll tell you right now, that thing was on a rope. Here we go, Tig now. He knows the pressure that is currently on him right now. Tig with the shot. Oh. 
I'll see you on the green. All right, and there's me right there for Eagle, and there is Tig over there for Eagle. I'm a little longer than I wanted to be. Putt there, folks. About six feet out, I thought that was in. <sighs> big putt here for Matt. Really big putt. He's got this for Eagle and to go one up after six holes. Uh, I was scared of it. I was scared of it. Scared. He's gonna tap that in for his birdie. Wow. Matt really missed an opportunity, I'm not gonna lie. You guys are getting it right now. We're literally all square through six. This is some of the most intense golf I've played ever in my life. And this isn't a tournament, this is nothing. I mean, for me and you, for right. our clarity. This is for like pride. Right. Think about that for a second, fellas. All right guys, so we've we've made it to hole seven out here at Purcell Farms. This is another straight, straight away hole. We got some, we got some tall grass up the left. We got a couple bunkers up the left that are definitely reachable. I think this hole is just under 400 yards. What are you going with? It's at 337 to the front. It is still, tied match so anything can happen but sometimes matches are won or lost with this based off with of this what you thing. hit off the tee right all right i'm going hybrid i'm taking it Thank you. he does hit this thing pretty well it's a pretty solid bet let's see if he can rip one right up the middle god i hit that about as good as i could boy i hit that about as good as i could did that go up the right side is it in yeah it should be in I hit that about as good as I could. Had a little bit of had a little bit of cut on it, which is started to turn a little bit right, which is really weird. Not not what I'm typically used to, but I just didn't think drivers would play. I don't think I needed to risk it. You know, I get nervous if I get nervous or if I hug, duck hook it or something stupid. I don't want to make a stupid play like that. So it's only 3:30 to the pin, so I think we were fine there. Driver in hand. Let's just shore that bunker there. That's a really good drive there. <laughs> All right, so Matt might be the luckiest guy in the world right now. He is one foot from this high grass, this kind of nasty stuff here. He's still got a pretty tough lie, kind of a ball's going to be above his feet. Um, I absolutely pounded my drive right up the left side. Really happy with that. Which is just a game of wedges now. Matt probably has about 120 yards here. Probably going with, what, 8 iron? You know, you're only about 10 yards in front of my ball here. <laughs> 10 times 4, yeah, that's right. I caught a flyer. Sick. I caught a little flyer there. I figured I would too. It's this fly was a little. I don't even know what kind of grass that is. All right, and Tig is way down there, you guys, with his drive, and he's gonna try and hit a good shot into the screen. All right, he zipped it in there. He's got a little bit of work left for his birdie, folks. Matt, with a speed critical putt, as you've heard me say before. A really big kind of ridge here is going to be coming down to the hole. I would expect that he's just going to kind of roll this to the edge and let it funnel down to the cup here and see if he can get this one close. Oh! Don't you dare say nothing about my putty. That was in the middle of the cup the whole entire way. That was a Tiger Woods putt, and it smelled good from the tippity top of the mountain. You were so like, Matt's going to hey, hit the 60 listen. feet past the hole. Matt's going to no, do no, no, this. No, no. Give me the camera. The only thing I had to say about that, a blind squirrel finds a nut every a now and then as well. A blind squirrel finds a nut every day. <laughs> give, me the, give me the camera. I'm, tell, I'm feeling so good right now. Right? It's one of those things where, you know, you see a tough putt in front of you. You see a lot of doubt, a lot of, a lot of people running their tiny mouse. And, and it's just one of those things where you just roll it in nice and tight. All right, Tig now has this for birdie. And it's just one of those things where it becomes really tough. I'm gonna try and tap that in for par now. And he does, and we are still all square here. Going on to hole what? Eight? Hole eight. All right guys, so after hole seven, uh, me and Matt with two pretty solid pars there. Hole eight is a par three. It's another unbelievable par three. They've really outdone themselves out here at Purcell Farms with the par threes out here. Both of the par threes on the front nine have been amazing. As you can see here, this hole is playing 180. What are you going with, eight iron? Um, I got a seven iron actually. Matt, going with a seven iron. That is my worst shot of the day, surprisingly. That was just so bad. I think it was really good distance. It looks pretty close. Might have been a little short, but Tig now has a chance. Hey, 
And he is nice and short, folks. He's trying to fist bump like he meant to do that. Let's go. <laughs> he has a little bit of green to work with, as you can see here. My ball is just about 25 feet short. Needs to get this up and down. I got a little way from me. He chunked it a little bit. That's yeah, what you call nerves. Shut up, that wasn't nerves. I just got, I just got a little way from me. It was a perfect line of exactly what I wanted to do. All right, and Tig has been looking at this putt a little bit. Looks like it's uphill for him, but. And he gave it an actually a great roll. It's not a tap in by any means, but it was a good little putt. There's a little bit left on that, but uh, I'm not too worried about it. It's a pretty critical putt for this young man. Giving this one a look. Big nail. Yes. That shouldn't be a fist pump, but uh, that feels good. One up, baby. Let's go. We're fine. You know, he 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 got it. He got a little bit of a lucky break. I don't know. I don't know how that putt missed. I just I can't I can't believe I just thought I'd leave it outside the hole. You idiot. Should have put the perfect pace on it. Left it in the center of the cup. He now has a leg up here. We're actually. <laughs> Going to the last hole, so. All right, Tig now obviously is one up. He's got a very tough decision to make here. Look, he's looks like he's going with an iron here. All right, he whipped a draw in there and that should be perfectly fine. <sighs> this has been tough. Some of you guys are probably gonna think I'm pretty crazy for fence pumping on a three foot, but they have not come easy out here, those putts. God, you know, coming down with one hole left. <laughs> There's water all up the right side. That was an intimidating tee shot, but like I said, this has been a crazy day. We might be competitors and we love to win but neither of us like to see that. I think it might be in the water. It's tough to see. All right, so Matt did find his ball. It's in the trees. Green's right here, this is what we're looking at. I think he's probably gonna play it pretty safe and just get it out here. I think he's trying to go for the hero shot here. That was a good shot. Could have went with a punch five iron, but I was just like with the water. If I hit a cut, I'm in. And I had a little bit of a gap to try to play cut. Fortunately, I didn't play cut, but at least I got it out. All right, Tig, calculating his distance. He's got some clubs here. This is a very nerve wracking shot, I'm sure, for Tig. But essentially, he doesn't even need to get it close to the hole. He just needs to, he needs to look for a par. Or hit a nice little dart in there. What a shot. Needs to get this up and down desperately. This has been crazy. This is a critical putt, very critical putt. I mean, I made par. It's exactly the kind of pressure I needed to put on TIG. All right, TIG now for birdie. And to win the match, I actually had a really fantastic putt there. Congratulations. That was awesome. Matt. That was a more to come. Maybe not the stellar golf that we would have wanted, but dude, yeah. that was a match. That was that was one heck of a match, you guys. We played some fantastic golf. It could have been better. It did come down to hole eight. Mike did get a dub here, but there will definitely be more golf like this. Again, sorry for not saying too much, not doing a lot of talking. It was so intense. We just kind of wanted to get dialed in a little bit, and we were for for literally eight holes. For, it was for nine even holes. for nine, for holes. nine Te holes. Yeah, He's, technically. Yeah. I mean, nobody would try that shot that you hit. I was playing fantastic. He was playing fantastic. And up to up to hole eight, that's just where I lost it. And and mentally, physically, I was still there. I was still right inside of the action. Unfortunately, I kind of lost it. No, you didn't kind of lose. You lost. Shut up. Right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one because there's going to be more stuff like this coming along. Michael one.
It feels good to get a win. Shut up. Steven's so excited because he, 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 he's just, he's, we'll, he's we'll nothing. He's nothing. He's nothing. <laughs> if you like the video. If you like the video, subscribe. Take these guys. Peace.